What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brawlic John with another episode of How to Play. And on this episode, I am actually bringing you guys a very, very strong team. Um, normally, we like to do a little bit of the memes on this channel. I like to play a little bit of underutilized Pokemon. Um, but this team, genuinely, right now, into the current meta, um, feels really, 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 really strong. There's a lot of fun things that this team is able to do. And this team is all centered around Screamtail and King Gambit. Um, these two together have very interesting type synergy. Um, they also have some very interesting um, bulk levels. They have some speed control in theory. Um, they just have a lot of things that they do well together. I'll kind of start at the surface level and then dig a little bit deeper. But on the surface level, what Screamtail likes to do, very similar to Gouging Fire, is it likes to use booster energy speed to be able to set up HAL for your partner Pokemon. Now, the reason why why Howl onto King Gambit is extremely strong is because A, King Gambit has access to Priority Stab Sucker Punch, so plus one is packing a load of damage, and B, King Gambit is Defiant. This means that you can't just swap in the Ensign to give me a minus one or any of the other Intimidators in the format. <clears throat> It also means that you get punished for using things like um, Icy Wind, Raging Bolt loves to spam um, Electro Web. All of those things are going to go extremely punished versus this King Gambit. And Screamtail help helps enable that so much. Because what you can do is once you've given King Gambit the plus one, or in some cases if they're activating Defiant plus two, you can now leverage the fact that you have priority sucker punch with the fact that your opponent might be using protect to play around that so a lot of times what happens is i set up king gambit on turn one i get a pickup like surprise damage i might get a knockout something like that and then my opponent is like okay well this king gambit's plus one let me protect let me try to outplay my opponent and that's when screamtail gets to come in and pressure with encore encore is such a good move there's so many games where people just press fake out in front of you. They don't know any better. You lock them into fake out. You lock them into a move that's not super effective. You lock those ogre pawns into spiky shield. It's just so strong. And Screamtail also has access to play rough, which once you get a couple of boosts, don't be surprised. The Screamtail is going to be doing some decent damage across the board since Fairy is a very strong offensive typing. Now, the core of Screamtail and King Gambit, how do we support it? Well, first and foremost, we could bring probably the two best support Pokemon of all time. That is Amoongus, that is Incineroar. Um, I shouldn't really spend too much time explaining Amoongus Incineroar to you guys. You guys know how it works. What I can say is my Incineroar is really fast. Um, I want this Incineroar to outspeed my own King Gambit. I want this Incineroar to outspeed other Incineroars. So so this Incineroar gives up a little bit of offensive output, but it makes up for that with high speed. And remember, our Screamtail has access to Howl. So even though my Incineroar has low damage output, we can easily fix that with one Howl. And now your opponent has to respect Knockoff. They have to respect Flare Blitz, right? And then the last two Pokemon are kind of our late game sweepers. We have Ogre Pond and Fluttermane. Ogre Pond's a little bit more complicated because it's also here for some Urshifu matchups. It's really good versus certain rain teams. It's really good versus certain sun and trick room teams. And then Fluttermane is more obvious, right? It's Fluttermane. If you don't know what to put in the fourth slot for any matchup, just put Fluttermane. It'll probably be fine. Um, but yeah, one other important thing to note about this team, if you guys are going to take this on ladder, Terra Fairy King Gambit is so strong. Um, this team likes to bait a lot of Urshifu leads, so what we can do is we simply Howl, we Terra Fairy the King Gambit, we absorb the close combat, and then we answer back with a huge Terra Blast into Urshifu. And even if they go for Surging Strikes, calling the Terra Fairy, we still live a Strikes. We live a Strikes, we respond back with a really really strong really good stuff um this team is 
powerful. This is probably one of the best teams that I've built in a long time because I really sat down and tested this team on Showdown. Um, I got to 1600 with this team on Showdown. Um, so this seems really, really fun, guys. As always, if you guys can show love and get me to 10 comments, I will give you guys the pokey paste as a comment below. It will either come from my account, which is Brawl like John, or my personal account, which is Jonathan Velez. Sometimes I have my paste on my phone, so I just post it real quickly. Uh, but guys, enjoy the video. If you enjoy a really, really fun, slightly off meta, but still pretty meta team like this, give me a like drop a sub drop a comment below i am a small baby youtuber so every sub means the world to me thank you guys so much for clicking on this video thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the games yeah Alrighty, here we go and we have a pretty interesting team here because it's definitely a tailwind team with sun um but it also has defiance it has a little trick room mode which is pretty good um, I do kind of like Screamtail, King Gambit here. I think they're really, really good into most of this. Um, the question is, is what do I want to bring in the back? Because, like, I really do want to bring in Cineroar, but with that Defiant Ogre Pond, it can be very scary. And then given that there's Sun, I don't know that Ogre Pond... I think Ogre Pond's a bring. I'm trying to decide if I bring Amoongus or not. Amoongus can definitely slow things down and have some really good redirection. And it also probably walls their Ogre Pond. The problem is, is they do have some fire types I'll have to deal with. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess I want to go Fluttermane Amoongus here, I think, is the play. I might regret not bringing the Water Pond here, but I think I'm kind of forced to bring these guys. Um, it's going to be a very interesting game here because I'm going to need King Gambit and Screamtail to carry. Um, I just really feel like they can, given this matchup. Given the fact that um, Sun's going to go up, which means that I can switch in and out my Screamtail, which is really, really cool. Um, they lead Ogre Pond, Whimsicott, so double grass. <clears throat> Um, that kind of means I can hold my Terra on the King Gambit, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> I definitely like the idea of holding Terra here. Uh, I'm going to go for a Howl, and then I'm going to go for probably a Cleave. <clears throat> probably a Cleave into the Ogre Pond slot here. Because Ogre Pond Spiky Shielding, I don't really see too much of the value of that. So I'm just going to go for this. <clears throat> Alright, Whimsicott goes for Tailwind. Now, I could have Encored the Tailwind, and that would have been a nice little play, but... Um, yeah, the thing is, is Raw Stopping Tantrum just doesn't really do a lot to King Gambit. That's the thing where, like, I feel so comfortable kind of making these plays. <clears throat> Alright, so now I get a plus one cleave into Ogre Pond. That's gonna do a good amount of damage. That's definitely gonna put him in Sucker Punch range. Uh, I think I am down to play rough into the Whims to break the Sash. And then I am going to go ahead for a Sucker Punch into the Ogre Pond slot here. Now, he could definitely read the Sucker, but since I'm stalling out Tailwind here, I feel pretty okay about this. <clears throat> Alright, so he taunts my Scream Tail, but that's kind of fine, right? Um, I am attacking here, so I feel pretty okay about that. Alright, so now I get a play rough into the Whimsicott that's going to go ahead and break Sash here. So now what I want to do is I want to play rough the Ogre Pond, and I want to Iron Head into Whimsicott here. Because I think that Kinky G will live the double up. <clears throat> and then this should clear the way for my Fluttermane and Amoongus to be really, really good in the back. Um, I guess it just depends, right? They could switch in Ensign, but then it's Defiance. So they just go for Tantrum here. They might be doubling the King Gambit, but I think I live a Moonblast. Live, 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 live. Nice! Defiant proc? Ah. Alright, so we pick up a double knockout here, which is really, really cool for us. <clears throat> um, now all I have to do is stall out the Tailwind, which I can with a good old-fashioned Sucker Punch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, once again, I'm sorry guys, my allergies are really messing with me, but I really <laughs> I really wanted to record this video because I'm so excited about this core, guys. Screamtail plus King Gambit has been so good for me. <clears throat> Alright, now herein does lie a little bit of an issue here. 
<clears throat> Ooh. So here's the problem is they can fake out. They can fake out the King Gambit here. <clears throat> Alright, what are you booster? Oh, booster speed. That's actually pretty scary. <clears throat> and one last turn of Tailwind. I can't protect because of the taunt here. <clears throat> um, I could go Terra Steel. I don't think it helps here. I'm just going to play rough the Walking Wake. And I guess I'm going to sucker the Walking Wake. I mean, he could fake me out. But I think it's still better to just go for Sucker here. Because if he uses Fake Out, I can trap him into Fake Out, right? And that feels like it'd be really good. Yeah, so he fakes out the King Gambit, who lives, by the way. <coughs> Alright, Hydro Steam into the King Gambit slot. Okay, so he double targeted down the Gambit, which makes sense. I was plus three, um, which is really crazy to think about. Um, I get a plus one play rough. Ugh, I, I missed two play roughs in this video. By the way, I missed two play roughs. And it is 90% accurate, by the way. <clears throat> Alright, so I think we just bring in the Fluttermane here. Now, he could have Terastalization, which is scary. Um, so I kind of don't know what I want to do here. I definitely want to Encore the Incineroar. Um, they still haven't terastalized, right? Which could be really, really dangerous. <clears throat> and it's probably Terra Fire, right? Is it weird that I just want a Dazzling Gleam? Do I just Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam? What if it's Fire? How do I beat it? How do I beat it if it's Fire? <clears throat> I guess we lock into Shadow Ball here so we at least do damage. <clears throat> Yeah, let's lock into Shadow Ball, and then I can save, um, I can save Water. I can save Water Amoongus in the back. Okay, so he protects, which is pretty interesting. Um, now Incineroar is locked into Fake Out in perpetuity, which means he has to get past the Screamtail. So now I've pinned my opponent with Encore, and once again, even though this Screamtail is missing every single play rough, um, you can just see the huge value um, that this brings to me. <clears throat> now, I wonder if I'm faster and I could just Encore this guy into Protect. That'd be pretty cool as well. Am I faster? Let's find out. Let's find out if I'm faster. <clears throat> Alright, so they're gonna go for Terrastalization here. I assume it's Terra Fire. Uh, which is why I didn't go for a Fairy move. Oh, it's Terra Water, so I definitely could have gone for a Fairy move. But you know what? At least Play Rough is still somewhat effective here if I need it. So Incineroar goes for Fake Out again. Now, is Screamtail faster? It's not. Okay, so that's a little bit unfortunate. So I'm locking him into Hydro Steam, which is definitely something. <clears throat> Alright, so Encore him into Hydro Steam. Now I can bring in Amoongus and I can slowly just win the game, right? Uh, I get a nice little Shadow Ball here. Actually does really good damage. And the special defense drop is pretty good as well. Um, let's check. So he's one turn of Encore. He has to Hydro Steam here. Uh, I am going to play rough the Walking Wake, and I'm actually going to swap out into a Moongus because I know he has to Hydro Steam, right? So this seems like a really good chance to get in a Moongus and just go for Spore next turn. <clears throat> I can go for Encore into Incineroar and then Spore again, which is really, really nice. Um, now he should be targeting down the Screamtail, but let's see what he goes for here. Hydro Steam into a Moongus, that's good for me. Amoongus is going to eat that up with ease. Just look at how strong this Screamtail is right now. It's actually insane. So what we're going to do is we're going to Encore Incineroar back into Fake Out. And then we are just going to go ahead and grab a Pollen Puff into Walking Wake who can't protect. And this Hydro Steam is going to go into Screamtail. Screamtail is going to live. <clears throat> and this is just an absolutely dominating performance from Screamtail. Like, wow. Screamtail King Gambit is going absolutely insane. It's so good. Nice fake out, buddy. Oh my. Big pollen puffers. <clears throat> and that's GG's. <clears throat> and that is GG's. 
Alrighty, so now we just go for a play rough, and then we swap out Amoongus back into Fluttermane pretty safely. And that's GG's. Shout out to my opponent for sticking it out and letting me show you guys the power of Screamtail in this composition. But just giving King Gambit one Hal boost and then using the threat of Sucker Punch to just set up Encores has been so good for this matchup. Like just genuinely so strong. Um, Terra Fairy Moonblast here, pretty sure is the play. <clears throat> I was going to say, how is he terrestrializing again? <laughs> but that was me. But yeah, that is the power. The absolute power of Kinky G and Screamtail. What a, what a really, really fun team that, that I'm using here. I'm really, really happy with this team. Um, if, you're, if you're watching this video and you got this far in, I really think you should try this team out. This team is really fun. It has a lot of answers to a lot of funny meta stuff. Um, and this scream tail is just kind of OP. It's just really powerful. Um, but GG's to my opponent. They played well. Um, I kind of just played like extremely well, leveraging my encore. But shout out to my opponent. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. And we got an interesting one here because they have their own King Gambit, which is always a bit scary here. Um, we do also see an Urshifu, a Roaring Moon. <coughs> And they actually have a um, Serral Edge here, which is really interesting. I'm actually a pretty big Serral Edge fan. Um, I do think that Screamtail plus King Gambit is probably really good here. I mean, they do have the ability to set up Tailwind, but I kind of still like having these two here. Um, the question is, is, do I think that's Dark Urshifu or Water Urshifu? I kind of think it's Water Shifu, to be honest. Uh, so part of me is deciding between something like Amoongus... Um, I mean, I got the Flutter Butter. I could bring Wellspring as well. Uh, maybe Incin Wellspring could be really, really good here. Uh, because it gives me something that's super effective into the Serral Edge, and it's pretty strong into the Dengo, in the sense that it resists Make It Rain. Uh, so I do think these four are fine. It feels a little bit weird leaving home the Flutter Main when they have Roaring Moon. But I don't really think they're gonna bring the Roaring Moon, right? I mean, they might, but bringing Rory Moon into double fairy types is kind of manka. Uh, but let's see what our opponent does here. I I'm hoping for a really, really nice King Gambit game. Alright, so it is, in fact, Water Shifu. It is, in fact, Water Shifu. So what I could do here is I'm actually feeling a Howl into a Terra Fairy Terra Blast onto the water shifu here because what that'll do is it, it might it has a chance to just pick up a ko but even if it doesn't it's gonna put him in sucker range and then screamtail can just um target down the whims it could go for encore it could go for a lot of fun stuff here now i should live surging strikes on either slot here um, unless he goes like Rain Dance or something like that, but I think I still win. Yeah, so he goes for Tailwind. I'm hoping to see close combat. That would be the best. Um, oh, he actually U turns. Oh, that's a really good play from my opponent. Uh, I'm not sure what wants to take this. Probably one of his fire Pokemon, I guess. Uh, but that's a really, really good play from my opponent. I mean, King Gambit doesn't really want to take this, you know? So here's the Howl and then the Terra Blast into King Gambit. I'm okay with this, I think, uh, because I can probably still beat Urshifu with my Water Pond in the back. And this is a plus one Terra Blast, right? So it should be pretty good here. Also, if I get rid of King Gambit, that's gonna help me take care of. Um, that's gonna help me take care of some other stuff here. Now I could protect the Scream Tail. Uh, although, I guess I'm not feeling, like, too inclined to do so. Uh, maybe I do want to protect the Screamtail here. Uh, just go for a Protect on Screamtail. And go for another Terra Blast into the Kinky G here. I think that might be a decent play. Because I'm not feeling too much pressure here. They're going to go ahead and Terrasalize their King Gambit. I wonder into what? Um, is it Terra Fire? Terra flying. Okay, so that doesn't change anything about what I went for. Uh, maybe he's going for his own Terra Blast, but I still feel pretty good. 
Uh, I don't think that Terra really matters. I'm still a pretty good range to knock out here. Alright, so Moonblast goes into Screamtail. I stall out another turn of Tailwind, which is really, really nice. Um, his King Gambit's gonna... Oh! Kind of forgot that's a thing. Please don't flinch me. Okay, so I didn't get flinched. I kind of forgot that I'm Terra Fairy, and that's a little manka, but... Whoopsies. Alright, so we do pick up the King Gambit, which is nice, right? Now, the problem, though, is if they bring in Urshifu, um, they can outspeed and knock out the King Gambit here. So they bring in Seraledge. I feel pretty good to just go ahead and Sucker Punch the Seraledge here. That feels like that's probably the best play for me. Um, I could go for Howl. Um, I think I'll just play Rough into Whimsicott so that I can get some chip damage down onto the Whims. Uh, so, go for that, and then I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch into the Sarah Ledge. I am plus one. Oh, he goes for Shadow Sneak. Well played. That's very well played. And he takes some Life Orb damage. Um, yeah, that's really, 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 really well done. Very ballsy of my opponent, to be honest. And I misplay Rough. That's really bad, huh? Okay, um... That was a really good turn for my opponent. Um, I guess I want to go for Protect. <clears throat> I think I want to Sucker. <clears throat> I think I want to Sucker again and see if my opponent makes the same play. I mean, he kind of has no reason not to. What if I Sucker the Whimsicott here? Yeah, let's sucker the Whimsicott to break a Sash, I guess. Because ultimately, he's going to have to Tailwind at some point, and I'm kind of looking for the free switch. Wow. Well, my opponent is reading the life out of me. Holy. <clears throat> um, This is not good. <clears throat> is Tailwind over? Alright, so Tailwind is over, so... <clears throat> I think I'm down to just Encore the Whimsicott here, and then I guess I'll finally go for a Kowtow Cleave into Sarah Ledge here. <clears throat> um, he could read me again and then just go ahead and knock out the King Gambit here, but that would give me a free switch in that I need. He goes for Tailwind, which is fine. Um, I should get the... <clears throat> Excuse me. I should live that. Yeah, Screamtail lives. So I outthought my opponent on this turn, which is really, 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 really good for us. The only problem is now that we are, um, we're under Tailwind, but the Whimsicott can't do anything. It's been Encored. So I can Sucker Punch the, I can definitely Sucker Punch the Urshifu, get some chip damage down. <coughs> And then next turn, I can bring in Incineroar, and we should win. Alright, so I feel pretty good about that win. My opponent had some really, 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 really nice plays, but I do feel good about this. So I'm going to go for Play Rough into the Urshifu, and Sucker Punch into the Urshifu. He could go for Aqua Jet, <coughs> but that's not even going to kill. <coughs> Uh, Whimsicott stuck tailwinding. Now I get a plus one play rough into the Urshifu slot. Um, we know that he's locked into Aqua Jet. At least I believe he's locked into it. Alright, so play rough and um, Terra Blast here. Um, he can't hit both slots, so this is a GG's. Now, there is a chance that Screamtail can miss, but uh, unless I miss two turns in a row... Uh, this is GG's. We were able to successfully outmaneuver my opponent. He did really well, though. He had some really nice plays, but getting Encore into the whims was just too much. It was too good for me. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, guys. I'm sorry. My, uh, my allergies are acting up pretty bad. But now we bring in Incineroar for the win. And you guys can see the power of Screamtail King Gambit and how it was able to adjust... Um, to whatever my opponent was going for, you know? So I am going to play rough here. <coughs> and Flare Blitz. 
And that should be a good old fashioned GG. So he's gonna go for his last tailwind, which is fine. And he surrenders. Alrighty, GG. Shout out to my opponent. He played well, but we played better. Um, we did miss the play rough. So I guess he did have a small chance to maybe win, but there's honestly no way. Uh, GG's to my opponent. Shout out to Scream Tail going crazy. Yeah. Alrighty, next game up. And it looks like we have... Um, this is actually a pretty good team into me, considering that they have Giraffe, Urshifu, Flutter Butter, Iron Hands. It's more of a, it's more of an older style Regulation D team here, but it's definitely pretty threatening. Um, I see no reason to switch up the formula though. I really do like Screamtail plus King Gambit here. Um, I really like Incineroar as well. Um, and then the question becomes, who do I want in the last slot? Um, Fluttermane is pretty good across the board here. I really can't complain about Flutter. It would be the fastest thing in the matchup, maybe outside of their Flutter. And then they have an Urshifu as well, which if that Urshifu is Scarf, bringing Flutter could be really, really bad here. Um, I think I like bringing my own Incin and then bringing Ogre Pond Wellspring here. Uh, cause Wellspring can deal with the Urshifu and still do decently well into everything else. It's not amazing into Iron Hands, but it can outspeed, it can spiky shield, it does some really decent stuff here. Uh, but I'm expecting another really big King Gambit game. Uh, I'm probably expecting a King Gambit Terrastalization as well. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about King Gambit here. Let's see what happens. So, my opponent leads Giraffe and Urshifu. Um, so Giraffe, Urshifu, I think we want to make the same play that we normally make here, um, which is to go for Hal, Terra, Fairy. So we're going to go Hal. We are going to go Terra, Fairy, Terra, Blast into the Urshifu slot. <clears throat> now, he doesn't have any switch-ins for this. He could go Terra, Water, which would be a little bit bad, but I just don't see the benefit of Terra, Water here. So I think this is going to be a pretty good play for me. And the thing about Terra Water is it opens it up for Sucker Punch. The only bad thing here is I can't Sucker Punch because of the Giraffe. So I do need to keep that in mind for sure. I just feel like King Gambit with Assault Vest is so good here, right? Okay, so Screamtail goes first. That means his Urshifu is not Scarfed. Important to note. Um, close combat into King Gambit's really good here. That means I should pick up the one-hit knockout with my Terra Blast. And that's just honestly a great start for me. <clears throat> Alright, so they go for Hyper Voice. Um, which is decent for me. Um, I could Encore him into Hyper Voice and then switch in Flutter. And then that feels pretty good. And then I can save Kinky G for the end game, right? Um... Because I definitely do want to, um, I do want to be able to Sucker Punch if I have to. If they send in something that isn't necessarily threatening, um, Fluttermane, <clears throat> Rillaboom, huh? <clears throat> Alright, so this is interesting because they do have Fake Out Pressure here. So now the question becomes is, do I think King Gamut can live the double up? And do I, or, well, I guess I just bring in Incineroar here, right? I can bring Incineroar for the Screamtail slot. Um. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? I am going to Encore the Giraffe. And I am going to Kowtow Cleave. <clears throat> Um, the giraffe as well, I think. <clears throat> because the thing about it is, I have Incin and Fluttermane in the back. And even if they knock out my King Gambit here, which I think they're very, very likely to do. You know, I considered Iron Heading the giraffe as well. <clears throat> they actually fake out the Scream Tail, which is interesting. <clears throat> They go for Psychic into King Gambit. King Gambit probably lives, yeah. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, Iron Head would have been really nice here. But that's okay. This is still pretty fine, I think. Because I think what I do here is I simply protect the Screamtail. And then... 
Um, I mean, I could just swap it Incineroar here, right? That actually feels pretty good. And then save my King Gambit for a Sucker Punch later in the game. I just remembered I don't have Flutter Mane. Uh, okay, so I've been playing this game incorrectly the entire time. I thought I had Flutter in the back, and I don't. That said, I still feel pretty good with Incineroar here. <clears throat> uh, but let's see what my opponent goes for here. I need to hyper-target down the Giraffe. Alright, so Woodhammer into the Screamtail slot is really, really good for me here. I'm hoping I see Psychic into Incin. Yeah, that just feels really good, right? That just feels so nice to be able to do that. Now, you could make the argument that I should be taking out the Rilla, um, given the fact that I do have Water Pond in the back, and Water Pond can kind of just one-shot the Giraffe whenever I want. That's very interesting to consider. You know what? I think I am going to go for Hal and then Flare Blitz into the Rillaboom. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's actually a good play for me. I think that's what I'm going to go for here. Because at plus one, Incin should knock out the Rilla. And then it'll give me a free switch. It'll put my Screamtail at plus two. Uh, I'm assuming my Incineroar is faster than Rilla. I mean, if the Rilla has speed investment, this could go really, really bad. But I feel pretty good. My Incin is actually pretty fast. Let's see if I get the nod here. <clears throat> Let's see if I get the nod. So I don't get the nod. I take a wood hammer, but with the minus one, Screamtail does live. Um, Incineroar should just knock out the Rillaboom now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, which is awesome. Uh, I'm expecting a Hyper Voice here, which is going to do a lot of damage, certainly. <clears throat> Alright, there's the Hyper Voice. Oh, wow, that did a ton of damage. Oh, my. Um, has this Giraffe shown me Protect? <clears throat> Alright, so I am going to heal up with the Grassy Terrain and the Citrus. This is going to be an interesting matchup here. Because I can definitely still lose here. <clears throat> it's pretty nice that my Incineroar is plus one, though. I wonder what's in the back. I wonder what's in the back. <clears throat> oh, their own Incineroar. Oh, that's kind of bad. <clears throat> um, they do have fake out pressure as well. <clears throat> um, what did what do they do? They fake out the. All right, I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel, <clears throat> and I'm gonna Flare Blitz the Giraffe here. Because I have to knock out Giraffe to win this game. So they do fake out the Ogre Pond. But I mean, Ogre Pond's going to live any hit here. Um, It's debatable whether or not Incin's going to live. Yeah, I, I don't do enough damage here. If Incin lives this turn, then I'm feeling okay. Oh, he actually set up Trick Room. <clears throat> Setting up Trick Room is interesting here. Um, The thing is, is I don't know... I mean, I can Spiky Shield, Flare Blitz the Giraffe? Yeah, that's my best play here. <clears throat> okay, because if I do this play, I get to bring in King Gambit in the back, who's gonna underspeed. Okay, he Flare Blitzed into Protect. Now it just comes down to whether or not Incineroar lives this attack here. We get a little bit of chip damage, that's cool. Um... Do you live Hyper Voice, Incin? It'd be really big if you lived it. Nice. All right, now pick up the range, pick up the range, pick up the range. Let's go. Oh my god, this team is so clutch. <clears throat> Let's go, Incin. I'm thinking he high rolled me last time, because last time he did a load of damage. <clears throat> All right, so... Sidoror still alive here. I get a free knockoff. The grass disappears. There's no more healing. Um, I'm minus one, but it doesn't really matter too much. We just go for the IV Cudge, and we go for the knockoff here. <clears throat> and that should be GG's. I even have Kinky G in the back. So Flare Blitz goes into the Ogre Pond slot. Does a bit under half here. You know, I actually could have cycled my Incineroar for Intimidate. That probably would have been pretty, pretty good, actually. Alright, we knock off the Citrus Berry. Here comes a big cudgel. If I get the crit, the game's over right here. No crit, but that's okay. 
Um, I am going to Spiky Shield the Ogre Pond. I'm actually going to switch in King Gambit here so that I can reset Fake Out plus Intimidate. I just want to guarantee that there's no possible way for me to lose. Because, like, what if he, like, clicks Snarl and, like, cricks me and I don't know. You never know. <laughs> but let's just go ahead and make sure that this is a good old-fashioned GG's. This also helps me stall out Trick Room as well. It's, yeah, see Snarl. I told you he was going to go for that weird stuff. <laughs> I told you. Okay, now we get the Baboost. One more Defiant. Oh, it feels so good. Ivy Cudgel. Terra Blast. And that is GG's. <clears throat> the battle is canceled. Well, that's three straight wins for Scream Tail and Kinky G. Yeah. Alrighty, gamers. I hope you guys enjoyed. Screamtail and King Gambit went absolutely insane. No doubt about it. Absolutely clutch. You love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, a comment, a sub, all that good stuff. Follow me over on twitch.tv backslash brawlingjohn. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah.